I mean, it's really important as well to look where Wukong starts, right? You see their bold and their bold lane, in my opinion, is showing quite late. Which means that that's a bit sus, right? So, that means that very likely, right? That that boy is probably starting bot side. And you can confirm that and see if they use mana or not. Okay, did you see that um, AD carry? He actually had no wind wall, by the way, if you guys noticed. Before he showed from the bush. Which means that, guess what, guys? He, uh... He probably didn't actually, you know. He probably leashed. Or got a leash, I mean. And then Bolin is winning, so that's pretty good. I was gonna pass to our top side here. Uh, I'm sure that even Wukong is bot. I think my laner sh should be okay. I'm not really gonna ping them back. If they're maybe in danger, right, I would have pinged them, but. I think they're probably chilling. I am gonna ping here though on my top lane that the guy has to maybe be slightly careful, but you know, he should be okay. I always like to do my Gromp as well instead of blue because that way my camps are respawning at the perfect timing. I always drop this a little bit lower as well, right? To get the most benefit of my E. Okay, as you can see, nothing really is happening. Wukong didn't show, which means we're both farming. Which also means that after this full clear right, there he is. Okay, I actually didn't pay attention to mid lane. I was like low-key zoomed in, you know, as you guys can see. Okay. I think I'm gonna join this little, uh, you know, Krabby first. And then we're gonna see if I actually wanna go bot. So it depends on who the wards are, right? If you watch one of my Patreon videos, you know, they look at the ward. I think they have no wards. And then they go for last hit. Okay, that is... Okay. The wave is super good here, by the way. Right now, they have to just back off. I think this guy has no windfall, by the way. Okay, so one small thing, right? I know for a fact, literally for a fact, that Monkey is going bot side here. So I'm just gonna put a ward down here, and I'm gonna base, and I'm gonna clear top to bot. Like, you see, bot lane is like, I would say, pretty doomed, right? Uh, Wuku might be taking my top side, but I don't think so. I'm gonna buy Kraka Slayer. Okay, here's the thing, Wukong is not showing. Um, so if he's not showing, right, maybe he's taking my topside camps. Or he could be around mid lane. But I think my mid lane shouldn't be able to die to a Wukong Victor in the early game, to be honest. If he does, he's reported, you know. Um, this guy's still not showing, right, which is very sus. So considering that it's very sus. And the thing is that if that guy's not showing, right, there he is. That's why putting a like, little ward down there is actually pretty good. Because now, his path thing becomes really predictable. It's gonna be become bot to top and well guess what? When he's going bot to top and I'm going bot side, right? I will punish their bot lane. I'll either take the Drake or I'll either take um and here's the thing, my top lane is getting a bit fisted, right? But that's completely fine. He has nine CS currently in 520, which is very impressive I would say. But that's okay, you know. So you see that wave right there, right? Like the enemy team. Right, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna counter gank here. Wait for me, bro. Okay. The wave is somewhat decent, I guess. Nah, I'll push it out. I should have moved earlier, though, because I knew that Wukong, not Wukong. I knew that, um,. They call that guy. Yeah, I know it is balanced. Okay, I managed to crush it. Because there, I knew Wukong was boss side, right? And that, dude, they're bowling Kryn Breed. So knowing that they Kryn Breed, right? I just had to actually move towards the boss side earlier there. Um, I'm just gonna greet from my camps here a little bit, and then I'm gonna look for base after.
Uh, Bolden's fighting here, that's okay. But ideally right now, right, I'll just clear my Bolster Camp's base and go top the bot. Because my top the camps will be spawning like very soonish. So which is why like I wanna take my boss camps first. Like now Wukong should be pathing towards top side, right? But it's not like he has to. So okay, not the show mid lane, so you know. Ooh, that's not gonna reach. Okay, I'm gonna buy one pink ward. What I like to do, right, is just buy one pink ward. Especially on Herald timing, so I can pink ward the Herald and keep farming towards bot side. Because I actually don't want to start a Herald unless um, I'm winning top side. And he Ukon can't do anything on bot lane. But I just want to keep having towards bot because they're bot lane, right? They want to play really aggressive. Okay, I trust my Zex information that Rubble flashes up in 20 seconds. And my Zex level 6, right? So if he goes for plating here or whatever. Oh. I mean that that goes a bit too far saying kill me, you know, but that, that was that was interesting. Uh, okay, I'm pretty sure as well the Wukong Velvet matchup. I've played this matchup before, right? Like from the Wukong side. After six, this champ is stronger than me because he can cancel my ultimate or not my ultimate my E. I have to be slightly careful, of course. Okay. I think this guy is not realizing that we need our bot for Herald. Holy shit, the blobby! Okay, now I can move towards Herald. So, oh fuck, I was gonna ping Bullen to be careful, but I think they're gonna be okay. Nice. I'm pretty sure my Zai is okay. I'm looking at his position, right? Like, he should not be able to die. That's, like, really huge. I young the Herald, but uh, one thing that I actually forgot, I'm playing Belvet, so... When I play Belvet, Herald's actually really high priority. Yoink. I mean, since Wukong's dead for, like, you know, 10 more seconds... Oh, I forgot this. Uh, that's quite important to take, guys, if you play Belvet, just saying. But yeah, like, you see his respawn timer? He spawned, like, basically right now. Knowing his respawn time, right, I probably only have time to like going one camp anyway, so I was gonna take this and I'm gonna base real quick. I got my Kraka Slayer, so no, 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 I'm not going topside. Because here's the thing, right, um, my bot is so hard winning, all my bot camps are up, and my Zek here can just clear bot wave, sorry, top lane, and I can just take the blue and Drake. So if the enemy jungler decides to go top lane, right, I will take free Drake or dive the enemy bot lane, which is, you know, I would say pretty worth it, honestly. So, right now I'm just gonna ping, hey yo, I'm gonna go for the Drake. And I'm just, oh fuck. And I'm just timing my camps with the Drake, basically. So, I take one camp. Okay, enemy mid lane show in mid lane, right? And Wukong will stop side, so I can take blue buff as well here. Which is completely fine. Okay. So now. Okay, my Ziggs has to base, but he has teleport, right? Bro. That guy has no flesh. Uh, I think should be okay, but I have to be slightly careful with Wukong. If Zix TP back, by the way, they should not be able to play the game. So I'm just gonna wait for that. A little Ziggy TP. Like I said, guys, they cannot play the game. Uh, I'm just gonna pop the Herald here, though, because I believe that. I think you're getting sent back to base, buddy. It's fine, like, it's pretty low, and we're getting a lot here in bot tower. I was gonna cover mid lane here, take my wolves, and then when I mean, 6 comes back mid lane, right? He will be able to bomb the mid lane. So I'll just join this wave, and after this, I'm gonna play for the Drake. Oh, fuck. Brew moment. Uh, 
Right. So right now, right, um, Zaya's basing. Like, pay as well attention to like laner's base timings, right? Like, my Zaya's basing here, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna base as well because right now he's probably gonna stay on the map very long. And after my base, I don't need to base anymore for the next 20 years. So I'm just gonna buy Pinkwood here, and now I'm like, yeah, spiked, I would say. Because now I got my Tabis, I'm playing as Wukong, Yasui. If I'm not playing against Big Toe Rumble, it's pretty much unusable. I top lane is 50 CS down, but honestly, that's not gonna matter. So I'm just thinking about Drake here, right? So I want to take a fight here, that's for sure. This guy's no flesh. Okay, this guy got yoink. Okay, so now I just take the Drake. I always make sure to sweep the Drake, so see if they see me or not. So they see me, so what does it mean for the enemy? Gank mid, gank bot, gank top. Like, if they see me on Drake and they know they can't contest, they want to do something else. I don't know what it is, but they want to do something else. Okay, so here Wukong's oinking on mid lane, right? And basically I got a Drake. Not sure if Victor's flash or not. Oh, baby. Okay, joke. Yoink. Okay. Ooh, okay, one, one beautiful thing. Oh, that's not beautiful. This guy doesn't have anything. Pretty sure this guy's actually trolling. Oh, I'm trolling as well. Okay, maybe he wasn't trolling. I trolled there. That's probably a better explanation. Uh, anyway, that's all good though. I'm gonna clear the top of the bot, I guess, here. And I'm gonna just chill. Actually, would Wits and be a decent item here? Nah, I'm just gonna go Stripe Breaker. The sucky thing is that I kinda wanna sell this pink ward, but I shouldn't actually. Alright, I'm gonna go top the bot here and. I'm gonna play for the Herald here, right? So if the Herald's up and your camps are up, well, usually you would love to take your camps before a fight, usually, right? I hope. And just time your summoners. Midland has no summoners. I have my summoners. Wukong has. I don't know, but who cares? Yeah, but hey, just saying, one minute before objectives, people are gonna run them down, so make sure to look a little bit at the lanes because I need to farm and objectives are coming up. But this is the most crucial moment where my laners have to not in. But very likely people are going in, so make sure that you just pay like a little bit of attention to your laners. Like my bullet should be winning, there's no way they can lose. So I'm not even gonna look at bot. And I know the Wukong stops that, right? So So right here I'm gonna ping my Zix. Moves to our stop lane. He has mid purity and he doesn't have wards here. There might be a ward here, right? So Okay, perfecto. So now the Wukong uses flash as well, so that's 1930 jungle. Okay, my Brom is quite low. Um, I'm definitely not gonna give them a mid tower here, of course. Pretty sure they should be free, which is why I'm using all my builds as well. My builds are coming up in 5 seconds anyway, right? So we're chilling. And I'm pretty sure Wukong has no ultimate, so that guy's not gonna be a champion. He's not gonna do jack shit. So considering that Rumble was dead, right? I can actually easily break top tower open really fast here. I was gonna pop the Herald here, break the tower really quick. Nothing crazy, you know, I was gonna, you know. My bullet is collapsing, so you know. Honestly, Belvet is so smooth to play, you know. Like, when you're ahead on this champ, I just love it. This E just feels so satisfying. It's like, it's like, it's like a good feeling, you know. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but it just, it just feels good, you know. 
Wait, I hope there's no wards here, but it doesn't seem like it. Uh, I think I'm actually gonna maybe gonna wits end actually. I think wits end is actually not bad. I'm playing as Victor Rumble right, and usually I go black cleaver, but I think wits end considering their champs, not bad I would say you know. So anyway, uh, it seems like Drake's in 50 seconds right. Like always, 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 always. Think what you're playing for. If you know what you're playing for, the games become a lot easier because I don't play for the Drake. So I know when Drake's up in 30 seconds, I'm telling you very often. Okay, this game maybe not, but other, other games, my lanes are gonna end. So what you have to look at, okay, I play for Drake, are they trying to trade? Is my top laner gonna die? Yes or no? Is my mid lane gonna die while I take my Raptors? Probably not, because of Azaya. But I'm just thinking about things, right? And now, my Zix has no ward? Maybe my Wukong's in the tribe bush. My Zix has no flash? He's gonna die, right? There you go. And like that's just that's just normal, you know. Like even if you know enemy Wukong's top side, right? People are gonna die because why? I don't know either, but you know, like people just like don't look at minimap. Sounds crazy. It does, but you know, like even I could like I could smell the Wukong. Like I was like legit. He's top lane, and then it doesn't matter. My lanes are gonna die anyway. How broken are these small minions, but if hitting towers? Okay, that doesn't work apparently. Like, because I know I play for a Drake, okay? And you might think, okay, I'm playing for the Drake, right? Well, I play for a Drake because I believe I'm weak, stronger, usually. Otherwise, I would be trading, right? Which means that I know that the enemy team is very likely gonna look for a trade. Very likely, they're gonna look for a play on top lane instead of on the Drake. Which is why, knowing that I play for Herald, I think, okay, it's my bot side's fine. I play for the, for the Drake, it's my top side's fine. Like, I think about those things as I'm playing, and... If you master these things, games will look a bit easier, I would say. Okay, but yeah, right now, I'm just gonna look to play for mid-top, okay? Baron is one minute. So Baron is one minute. I want you guys to think about how much you play this game at the moment. Just think about it. If you want to carry this game, Herald or Baron is in one minute. You always have to think which wave you're contesting. Which means that before you think about which wave you're contesting, right? You actually have to know which lanes are prio. My top lane is getting pushed in, my bot lane is pushed, which means that my Zek can move, but my Zek's not moving, right? So, but anyway, that's okay, because my laners can take the wave here, and because they're strong and they're all showing, right? So now I'm walking enemy jungler, I'm gonna youngest camp, so now the crucial part is that... Okay, here's the thing, I think I saw someone there, so, you know... Okay, now crucial part is that... Oh, I'm getting pissed here. Oh, okay, I got flashed on. Well, I got a bit fisted there, you know. Wukong uses flash, but I'm gonna time that. Um, Rumble has no TP, so my laners can't actually fight this. But let's say, for some reason, right, even when you're dead, you still have to think a bit about your teammates, because imagine that you're dead and they are taking a bad fight, you see they're going for 5v, like 4v5, then ping them back, right? And as a jungler, most people get tilted when they die, which is normal, like, honestly, I'm not that tilted, but, you know. Like, most people will be like, fuck, man, I died there and overthink, right? Or think, fuck, that's bad, whatever it is. Which is normal, but try to get out of it and really focus on, like, what's going on in the map. Because you, as a jungler, currently, I can legit have my camera like this. I'm not doing anything. I'm legit playing PvE. Like, I can legit have my camera like this and it's it's legit okay, you know, like. So just pay attention to the mini map, see what's going on, who can move first, who can move slower. And if you know that, then you know when to not take fights, right? Which, which is pretty crucial, I would say, right? So, I will. So here, right? Everyone is alive. Enemy AD is dead. So the moment we're five mid, I'm gonna send it. I see anyone here? Someone clears his pink ward. I'm sending it here. Send it, send it on this guy, dude. They're gonna contest. Fist them. Okay, so I'm just gonna sweep this area here. There's no wards here. Okay, but the bot is really shit here. But okay, whatever. Like, I was gonna say, walk in here and sit here. Oh, they're inting here, buddy. What the fuck? Real moment. Okay, so now I believe that we are strong enough to hit the objective and turn. Turn if they come, right? Like, right now, the main goal is not actually Baron. The main goal is actually to turn if they come. But it seems like the Wukong's really far away, so... Like you see Wukong, 
He's too far away to actually do anything here. Because too far away, we're gonna finish it. So, if they were gonna come, right? I'm for sure we're gonna look for you. No, this guy doesn't have shit, bro. Oh my god, I didn't have my E. Okay, I'm boosted. Okay, if I actually E, that was the most true one ever, but I don't know if you guys, that's like <clears throat> a mechanical grandpa gap, so that's unfortunate. But anyway, I'm dead right here, so my team is fighting. This fight is completely fine to take, it's legal. Um, so after you're dead, right, this is the crucial part though. The moment you get Baron, there's usually a. Okay, it's statistically proven, okay? When you have Baron, there's usually a 95% chance that one person is gonna die. Like, correct me if I'm wrong, like, 95% of the games, am I correct, that one of your laners are gonna die. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's 95%. Like, I'm I'm pretty sure, okay? Like, 95% is really accurate. I'm not even capping. I'm sure out of the 10,000 games we've played, 95% of laners are gonna die when they have Baron. So that means 1 out of the 20 games, my laners will actually be alive when they have Baron. So, do you wanna make sure that that doesn't happen? Well, you have to think about... Who's first on a map and where can I be? And you have to establish vision on one side, right? So here's the thing, is that my team is fighting here, we don't see anyone. Is it a good fight to take? Nope. What you wanna do right with Baron is that you want them to show a mid lane. The moment they show a mid lane, you send it. You get control on this area, and then that Wukong is trolling and you found Inter yourself. So I'm gonna take a little bit more aggressive pathing, right? But I think this pathing is very legal. Gonna make sure that I, uh, you know, cut off this monkey. Okay, monkey is down. So, like, you all, like you should think of Baron as vision. If you have Baron, you basically push a wave and they're forced to show. You see here, Victor is forced to show because well, he has to catch a wave, right? And the moment he shows, you take control. And the moment you take control, usually you go back to the wave, push it again, and then you start sieging and you don't get caught when your laners are showing on the wave. So let's say my Zeki is showing popping here, right? And enemy Yasuo backed off. Guess what, guys? He's probably basing, going bot, and we don't want to fight. Same principle if you are pushing mid lane here, let's say, and my mid lane is showing, and none of them are showing, you want to be playing safe. Like, what they see is like someone showing, and they want to fight. It's like just common sense, right? So usually, you have to ping people back, and if you don't do that, yeah, people are going to die usually, you know? So, okay, right now, I really want to send it on this guy. Bum! Dude, I'm attacking too fast, man. You see? I'm like... Okay, but anyway, we're gonna push mid lane here and... Let's see. I mean, can we end the game here? I think we can end the game here, basically. This Wukong is dog shit, so... Oh. Yeah, monkey go in. I take monkey. And basically, uh, actually, dude, can I even A click this fast enough? It's so hard to A click. It's like I'm playing Kogma on steroids or something. I don't GG. Yeah, basically, my lanes actually didn't die, by the way, guys, when I got burned. You know why? Because I said. I mean, okay, like maybe this game is didn't ping, but most games, right? People are gonna be dying, and dude, it's not that great, you know?